Hey everybody! I have maxed down for a nap, which means I had like 20 minutes to shower and actually wash my hair. And so I thought I would just pop on here real quick and take you through a quick sort of getting ready routine that I'm doing right now. I actually have a Zoom uh, virtual wine tasting tonight. So this is my like, you know, two minute Zoom look. So um, I already washed my face. I'm using the counter timeline. So I just used my toner. The first thing I'm gonna use, the first step, is gonna to be to use our new, if you can see the bottle, our new Beauty Counter Brightening C Serum, which I love. It's our All Bright C Serum, so there's two different forms of um, vitamin C. They're very stable. Um, the reason you see the color on the bottle is to protect the ingredients inside because they can diminish over time when exposed to light. So this is a glass bottle that will protect the ingredients, keep them stable. Um, you'll get more mileage out of your product this way. But it also has um, turmeric, which is the, the color that you'll see when I show it to you, and camo camo extract. So. What we know about vitamin C is that it's great for our skin, it's gonna help reduce fine lines and wrinkles, but more importantly, if you're like me and you've got some dark spots that are kind of popping up here um, from sun exposure, this is gonna to help to reduce those over time. So not only is it gonna reduce them over time, it's gonna protect from new ones. So I'm gonna start with this, I'll show you what this looks like. How pretty is that? It's beautiful yellow. I just rub it on and it gives me like a little bit of a dewy glow, which I'm loving right now because I used to use our tinted moisturizer to give me that look and now I'm just using the vitamin C serum and you can see it's a little a little dewy and a little glowy here and on top of that which I'm super excited about is our new featherweight skin twin sorry my bottle's a little dirty already um, foundation so this is a brand new formulation I am using 310 Yes, medium 310 is what you're gonna see me use today. Um, I'll probably go like one step darker for the summer, but this is buildable coverage. This is lightweight. It will last all day for those. So for like those summer months where it's getting really, really hot, I've already had awesome client feedback that this is staying on. It's not cakey, it's long wearing, and it's packed, you guys, packed with hyaluronic acid. So this is basically like skincare, it's not like makeup. So you're doing your skin a lot of um, help for fine lines and wrinkles to kind of fill in like some of this stuff that you'll see. Um, and under my eyes, I've got like some nice wrinkles and crow's feet and I haven't slept at all this week, so like the bag's under the eyes too. So this is buildable, I'm gonna put couple pumps in my hand and you can do it a couple different ways I just try to pat um, you can use a brush you can use a sponge um, but like I said it's really light and really buildable and you'll see it's just gonna kind of like fill everything in so like I said I could probably go one step darker for summer at this point because I've got a little bit of a tan going I'm gonna try to be careful around my eyes. And I do like a little on top of my eyelids as a bit of a primer, just to give me a little staining power and just to kind of like smooth everything out. I'm losing my towel here, sorry guys. So it's just really like giving me a smooth look and you'll see like also smoothing out some of these wrinkles. The forehead wrinkles are gonna fill right in. And I still have like some lightness and like dewiness under the, under the foundation. So if you're someone who likes um, a heavy foundation, you could add more if you wanna have like more coverage. I believe in like buildable foundation and really like letting your skin breathe. I think it should just shine. So I'm not someone who is adding a lot to what I'm already doing. Um, so I would just probably put one coat on, apply once. So you'll see these dark spots are, are getting covered now. They're way better than when they started, but I would also, if you wanted, if you were someone who was conscious about that, um, add some on top of here, or maybe on top of my nose, or you could go back in with our concealer pen. But for the purposes of today, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do like a quick little getting ready. So. The next thing that I'm gonna do is take our Radiant All Over Bronzer and I'm gonna do a little contouring, just real quick. This is Doom. It's our Radiant All Over Bronzer. It gives a little bit of a glow. I just do a little bit of contouring. I do a little along my hairline and a little under my chin. 
I'm gonna take this towel off, y'all. Okay, excuse my wet hair. Okay. Do a little contouring under my chin. And then I'm going to take one of my favorite blush colors, which is Nectar. This is, if you're familiar with NARS Orgasm, this is basically the same color. Obviously, in safer chemical free version. So this is just giving me a little bit of a flushed look because I just want to look really natural on this call. It's not really um, something I want to be like overdone for. So this is just like a quick five minute routine. I'm going to use a little bit of our brow gel just to kind of like give a little bit more depth and volume to my brows because I'm loving a thick full brow right now and I don't have thick full brows. So this is like Kind of like hairspray for your brows if you have some unruly brows or you need to fill in a little great this is like such an easy product i love it okay and then lastly i shouldn't say lastly next a little mascara so the trick to this is and i use volumizing mascara the trick is just to kind of wave it through and wiggle it through from the root to the end of the lash. You can also like hold your eye a little. The reason I don't do that is because I actually have pretty long lashes and what starts to happen is they curl into my eye. So I have to be careful because otherwise I'll just start all over with my makeup. So here's before and after. You can see I've got some volume, I've got some length in here. I love this mascara. This is volumizing. And um, the other option we have is lengthening. So if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of lashes, Lengthening is great because it'll define what you have, but it's not gonna leave you feeling like clumpy or anything. But for people who have a good, strong lash bed and want a product that doesn't have any black tar in it or harsh chemicals for a mascara, because I feel like we all wear mascara. Like what's the one thing you couldn't live without? For me, I think it would be mascara. Maybe lip gloss is a close second. But so anyway, okay, mascara. Last but not least, I'm going to use our, this is our Change Maker lip gloss, um, sorry, lipstick. It's in what we call Change Maker, I love it. Um, but it's basically um, just like a clear pink that adjusts to your natural skin tone. So this is what it looks like out of the stick. And I just use this because I want to have just some natural pink tones. And it's super light and hydrating. So you see, it just gives me like a little bit of rosy pinkness that adjusts to my the pigment of my, of my lips naturally. So anyway, okay, let's see if I have my hair done. Um, and it's not, but I will dry it out. And this is my, my quick five minute look. The last thing I'll do, and this is totally your preference. I like to set my makeup. I'm someone who like, I sweat during the summer. So I'm just gonna take our balancing charcoal spray and spray everything to set it. And that's it, and I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have questions, um, let me know, comment below. You can shop my link as well. And um, I'm happy to help make color recommendations for you for Skin Twin um, or answer any additional questions that you might have on the C Serum. But this guy's back in stock, so scoop it up now before it sells out again. It's a crowd favorite. Everyone's loving it and everyone's seeing the results. So I encourage you to check it out and I'll talk to you soon. Happy Friday.